What's up everybody, CJ Harris with another episode of the Moto Stop Show. Talking about like episode 25, I think, or 26. It just, things just keep clicking off. It's been a long time, it's been a journey, and it's been fun, but uh, we're going to continue on. We have a full house tonight, and I'm not talking about a hen. I'm talking about the greatest of the greatest. we got to start over to my left-hand side. My right-hand man, Mr. Moto Harris, in studio tonight. Moto, how you been, bro? Good. Yeah? Did you rubbing your eyes for you? A little sleepy, or are you ready to do this? I'm ready to do it. That's what I'm talking about. Right to the right of me, we got the CEO himself back in studio of Live Ruthless. You can always check it out, liveruthless.com. The, the, go there for the freshest gear on the market, right? Yes, yes, we had some fresh stuff, fresh out of the oven. Fresh out of the oven, and he's not talking about a baby. No. Over here, we no. got BBTMX, Woo! Mr. Brian Tipton. The CEO, I guess, of BBTMX. Yeah, that's right. Live in studio, man. Hey, we got a great, great uh, show cut out for you guys. As always, we're on Facebook Live. We got Instagram Live over there. Um, just to give you guys a heads up on Instagram Live, we're only going to be running it for about five minutes. And then if you guys want to follow it, jump over on our Facebook. You can find it at facebook.com backslash the Moto Stop Show. We see everybody on jumping on Facebook already. Gardner says, What's up? What's up, buddy? Hopefully Ryan's out there. Dirt drag. Let's dirt drag race this weekend. This weekend. We got some special. Gardner. Yeah. We're Gardner's gonna... been wanting to get in that, man. He, I think I've seen him. him Clark's dad got into a pit I think I've seen him drag so racing before. it's redemption before. time. Tell them dudes to come out in Boswick this weekend. We're going to have another dirt drag. Come on. Check out right there. The executive Ooh. producer watching from uh, from New York City. And Tom, the place has already went to hell in a handbasket without you. <laughs> Nothing is working. We need you back. Uh, but like you guys see in the comments, our executive um, producer is up on another venture. Uh, Big Deal is growing and they're blowing up, so they had another job and he had to fly out to New York today. So, or yesterday? Yesterday. <laughs> today. Today. So he's up in New York actually doing another gig. Um, hey, CJ, Nate's buying me a car. I just missed that comment. Nate's buying me a car and something. Yes, Kim Ingram's getting a new car, it sounds yeah. like. So. Can't stay long. Hey, I wouldn't either. Get yeah. a new car, girl. About time Nate steps up yeah. and does something. Oh man, come on. Woo. Preston Tyson's on the spin bike, so uh, we're going to keep it. him pumped up. Get it, spin it. Bobby Williams from Pro Action right there. Kim Scott Maxion, what's up, Live Ruthless? What's up, girl? Aiden Rourke, Moto House, Moto in the House, that's right. All right, so man, we got a lot to cover, and uh, we want to talk to you guys as well, so put your comments down there. We're going to try to address them as they come. Don't forget Instagram, jump back over to the Facebook Live. Um, this is our new time slot. It's going to be 8 o'clock every Tuesday night unless I have something else to do. Donnie Shive in the house. Up, Team buddy. Shive throwing down at the qualifiers. Rip it. Donnie, stay tuned because we're going to talk about the Gatorback Regional Qualifiers at the end of the show. Um, Kim Ingram is going to race you in her brand new Dodge yeah. Charger. RT. RT. Dirt drag, right? Dirt drag. Yeah. Orlando. Yeah. Orlando. Yeah. We, may, we may have somebody. They got drag strip. Everybody yeah. wants a Charger SRT8. Yes, we do. We may have a Hellcat um, that we can bring out. We Live may have to wait till the producer gets back. Live Ruthless Hellcat. But we might be up for that that challenge. Can we race a cop in a Hellcat? Hey, he's in his own car, you know. Boy Dog in the house We're right there. Boy Dog from um, NDA yeah, Action yeah. Sports in the Wednesday Weekend Race Report. Rematch. Got it. Got it first time, man. First time. <laughs> Carrie Elizabeth out there. Ooh, hey, girl. Hell yeah, the Hellcat's in right there. See, it's in. We're going to wash her up right now, Tom, so uh, we'll be ready to race. Yeah. All right. So if we'll, we can go ahead and wrap up that Instagram over there. i got to thank. As uh, uh, we brought my beautiful wife, Tawny, she, she's not on the camera, but she's over there running the, the Instagram video for us. Her arm's about to fall off. So, boys, Glenn Helen. Wow. What a track. Yes. I mean, the track. Yes, what did you think of Glen Helen, buddy, the, the well, track? Well, Ryan Dungey died. No, well, remember Ryan Dungey wasn't racing. He retired. Um, he got squirrely. He got squirrely? <laughs> Who got squirrely? Um, Ryan Dungey, that's why he got retired. Oh, okay. he, oh Ryan okay. Dungey retired because he was squirrely. Yeah, he that's, just said. I'm pretty sure that's what happened, man. <laughs> so. <laughs> he started getting squirrely out there. Yes, oh, sir. Oh, man, that's a good one, Moto. No, man, the, the star of the show, I guess, was going to be Eli Tomac, Zach, Zach Osborne. Stars of the show. Well, 
Eli for a, a not reason for winning. Eli, the star of the show for um, you know going one one there at Hangtown, but coming into Glen Helen, the first moto he you know had the bad start, started off around 13th, 14th place, I believe. Fought his way back all the way up, and it really took him a while to get started in that moto, in that first moto there. Wasn't making passes fast, but he did come back up to second, so Marvin Muskan took the win in that moto too, and then we've probably all seen what happened with the, the malfunction, the bike malfunction. And yeah, man. Front brake locked up, which caused him to uh, pull in the pits, and Brian, the mechanic yourself, you know, working on some of the top pro riders' bikes, you've probably been in situations like this. What going through your mind when a rider comes into the pits all hot and heavy in the middle of a race, you don't know what's wrong with the bike? Just trying to figure out it as fast as possible and get them back out there, so just chaos, you know? Yeah, you, I mean, you got to start the from the chaos. bottom. Chaos! Start from the bottom and work to the top. Um, I guess uh, Steve Mathis reported that he talked to the Cowie guys and the end result, they think a rock was lodged in between the, the brake rotor and the piston. Uh, therefore, not letting the the front wheel spin, so that caused all the damage, man. And I, I don't know. I thought about this multiple times. I don't know if he pulled into the pit. You know, they tried to do some stuff. End result, they cut the brake line. He's riding that track, and you guys seen it. Yeah. The uphills, downhills with no front brakes. Bit scary. Bit scary. Yeah. So how long does it take to put on? I mean, so here's what I'm trying to figure out. With no front brake. If he's probably five seconds, maybe, I don't know, what do you say, seven, eight seconds maybe off? Slower, maybe yeah. ten seconds off the fastest lap? We need to do, I need to break the lap charts down and figure it out. But if it would have took them, I don't know, one five minute? Five hours. Well, five hours to do a front wheel, that's how long it takes you? What about Ooh. one minute? Uh, how long, Brad? Five minutes, come on. Well, with the whole team? Five minute challenge. I think, I think they did it, I think they did it before. Somebody, was it, uh... It was one of the teams in Supercross. They changed the wheel, and I think it was like 48 seconds. Yeah, pretty quick once they were there. Dang, Grand Prix, bro. Yeah, so so you got to weigh the pros and cons. Buddy Bass, what's going on? Thomas Garden, who's the big, tough-looking guy in the, to the left? And the gray. This oh. guy? Oh, this and the guy. gray. Maybe I live back home in North Carolina. That's your people back yeah. home? Oh, yeah. Oh, Garden. Thomas, we got this, this guy. Tough. BBT and Max in house. Man, he got soft down here, man. Hey. As Bobby Williams says, it's crazy without the front brake. So um, I can only imagine, like, what, uh, you know, the time. Hang on my phone so I can read these comments. You just did something. Oh, you see that? It was like. It's back up. All right. So I can only imagine the, the time difference without a front brake going on in there. But I guess, you know, in, in that situation, Moto. Changing the front tires, I mean, it, it's going to take a long time. The heat of the moment, you just go with what you think and you cut the front brake and move on. What's up, Braden? Braden says hello. So we can see all you guys' comments. Make sure you guys chime in. And if you're an MX fan or if you anything you want to talk about, let us know. We can jump onto that topic. So Eli Tomac, you know, was, I guess, the star of the show, but not for a winning point of view. Um, actually going, I think, ninth. Where did he get there? Ninth on the day, maybe? With tenth overall for the day. Um, you knew that, didn't you? How'd you know? Oh. He had uh, a second place finish in Moto 1 with a 19th in Moto 2. Tenth overall for the day. Which is not, uh, not a great ride. And then his... How about Josh Grant? Josh Grant going 328, so wow. Josh had a great first moto. Yeah, man, he's been ripping lately. He is insane fast. Yeah, Lap he on, did be a no fast in go down. Did he go down? Grant? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, he, um, I think he did go down, and then he had bike problems as well. So it was oh, yeah, actually, he kind of tagged, um, almost sort of tagged um, Tomac when he came around, so. Yeah, he didn't really hit him. It looked like he did close. on video. Yeah, close. Take it, Dick. Donnie Shy said Tomac's going to have to start carrying a razor blade to cut the brake line. There will probably be a backup system ready for here on out. Yeah, they're going to have that on the cart now. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. They may not have had the whole system on there, so they had to probably just cut. So Now that's something they're going to have on the cart, and they could probably change that pretty quick. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, there's so much, you know, know, hindsight, there's so much to look at because really it's two 8 millimeter bolts or two 10 millimeter bolts to pull that front caliper off, right? Yeah. So if they have an impact there and they pull, pull it off and they spin the wheel real quick and this wheel spins freely, now they can just look at the caliper and say, okay, we either put it back on or cut the line there and move on. Not just cut the line and, I mean, I don't know. I got so many questions for Kawasaki, so many questions. <laughs> It wasn't a, a very good weekend. Yeah, it was not. Even okay, into the I'll 250. In there, buddy. Zach, I see I'll Zach. Buddy. Zach telling us twice over there on the uh, on the Monster what Energy is, Kawasaki. What gang signs for us. <laughs> That's the new gang sign official. Yeah. Style. I, I'm just pulling up. I'm not being uh, rude. I'm just pulling up our. Yeah, but it was definitely a good race, and I, I love the track, the ruts, the turns, the jumps, the grand, just the other, you know, the scale. It's an Big incredible Calidega place. Turn. Yeah, then that start with the huge turn. Oh my god. That turn is the fastest crazy. start in the motocross series. It's crazy. The fastest start. So, all right, so <laughs> the reason why we pull up our phone, and just so you guys know, we can only see two comments at a time on our posting board up there, but now we'll be able to read all the comments. Um, just I've seen Bernie C. Rutt. Hey, C. Rutt Noah. Yeah, hey, C. Rutt Noah. Noah, man. He did good. The little kid with the. The uh, K for Gator back. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I know no, who he is. Cheaper. I don't, I was just trying He's to. ripping, dude. Oh, he maybe, hey, C. Rutt, it's no, probably it's Noah. Yeah, I get it now. Noah, man. All right, Bernie, I was just hey, trying man. to figure out your converse, your, your, your uh, message there. Uh, John Morberg, another, with Logan Morberg, another ticket holder there yeah. from the good. regional. We're going to break tough. all that down. Oh my gosh, the 65 Son. was crazy was on i took a picture and posted on instagram and staging just uh practice 65s was nuts it was was it nuts? Bikes there was crazy no i just turned it off for yeah. practice all of them at one time wow. it, turned it turned off yes it did we got it back up and going buddy hey hey dog what you ready to pop <laughs> hey dog what? you ready to pop <laughs> Popsicle! Woo I don't want to do it. What? Oh, man. I say I do it. You want to show him? All right. Hey, dog. Hold on. Yeah, pull your head up some. Ow. You ready? Hey, dog. What? You ready to pop? Pop what? Popsicle. My hands are high. My feet are low. I just said that I like popsicle. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Get a popsicle. <laughs> no, I'm not. Right. I mean, so let's first jump into the 250s, man, yes, with uh, Zach Osborne coming into uh, Glen Helen as a points leader. And he's going to be leaving as the points leader. He went 4 2 for, on the day for the overall. No moto win, but still taking home the overall. How about Jeremy Martin? Jeremy yeah, Martin. Guy so fast. Back. Yeah, he's, he's back. So fast. Remember he had He's bike problems? The Honda, Honda did look good this weekend. So going 1-7 on the weekend uh, for a second place overall. And then Dylan Fernandez. That's the guy. Wow. Dylan who? Fernandez. I don't know how you say it. Fernandez. Man, he's a ripper. I'm right. I'm never teasing. wrong. I was just teasing. I'm never wrong. I'm was, always right. He's a ripper. I'll tell you Fernandez? when I... Fernandez? Fernandez. When I don't... You, everybody, everybody on here pretty much knows. When we don't know the name, we're like... Uh, that's Man. John Morton, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, go, 18. We just mumble into the microphone really good, really fast when we don't know somebody's name. So, hey, so as always, we got to do uh, Guess What's in the Cup game. We do have a prize. It is not telling you what it is until uh, we get the correct guess. But we have two cups, three cups filled tonight and if you can get the bonus question can you guess what's in brian tipton's this cup is the, the sleeper right here the sleep. <laughs> it may not be what you think paul fleming may what's have an up additive. it may have an additive <laughs> hey um <laughs> tipton's diesel in there so a few times i you know i want to make sure we announce Yee, but uh since paul fleming just came on i don't know if you guys seen it him and Poy Dog have a really cool thing going on called the NDA Action Sports Weekend oh, yeah, way cool. Wednesday Weekend Race Report. Uh, and it's super cool because they do touch on a lot more local stuff than we do over here at the Moto Stop Show. Um, so we, we thoroughly enjoy tuning in. And uh, that's when he we came up with the nickname. <laughs> yeah, I get it now, Paul. 
That's when we come up with a nickname and we don't know the last name. You're right. Uh, at Aiden is not apple pie, but that would be really good right now. Um, apple pie. So you guys make sure to tune in Wednesday at 8 o'clock over there on NDA Action Sports. All right, so what you guys have been waiting for, let's jump into uh, the 250. As we talked about, Dylan Fernandez going third overall. Somebody I was super impressed with, again, putting in solid ride, Adam Censorilla. Yes, sir. So AC currently sits second in points. Oh, really? How far, how far off is it? Um, 20 points, I'm going oh, off memory. Whole race? Yes, yeah, 21 points, 90 to, to 69. So, uh, but Alex Martin in third place with 67 points. Colt Nichols in Colt 65. Nichols. Look at Colt, 45 in the house. Aaron Plessinger, 64. Brian. Jeremy Martin with, uh, what is Jeremy Martin got? Jay Moore has 59. Joey Savarchi 50. Forkner's in eighth with 47. I know you're high on that Forkner yeah, train. Man, I'm telling you, buddy. What are you he telling me? Put it together, dude. He's the phenomenon, man. Well, first of all, somebody's got to put his bike together correctly. Well, that's he can't do that because it didn't work out. Give that him and dad. Him and dad had to dial, man. Him and dad. On this level? Yeah, no, well, him and dad never broke down, bro. Come on, man. On this level. <laughs> so. They were all breaking. That brings us into the Monster Energy Pro Circuit Mitch Payton debacle this weekend. <laughs> yeah, you, somebody want to blow somebody's head off. Three DNFs from Mitch Payton. Bones was Brian, stoked. we're going to you as a mechanic. I might be the only three you ever seen. So I, the only three in one day for yeah. sure. Yeah. Um, what do you? They just stretched it out too far. What could have been? What? What? It's such a long track, maybe. Well, yeah. Um. Although, yeah, he has had a um, engine with uh, Purcell. Not Purcell. Um. Yeah, Purcell at um. Purcell at um. Pathwick. Yeah, Christoph Purcell mm -hmm. at Pathwick uh, a couple years ago. So, um. I mean, it happens. So. Three bikes, one day. Something's up. Yeah, All the same up. thing. What do you think? Something's uh. Something's up. Maybe like a, a part. I think is what I heard. Okay. They were using a new part, so it kind of makes sense. New ceramic um, bearing, somebody yeah, came out something like something. that. Just couldn't handle uh, the hills of Glen Helen, so. Yeah, I think not, it's something I, up I think something. they have the motor, like, you know, really stretched out, and then you add all that power, and the boys are going to hold it pinned. They're going to test it for so, you. So, what, place. what throws me off, though, is you take Adam Cincerilla, the biggest kid on. That bike. Is the heaviest one of all? I believe so. He's the tallest for sure. And you put him on that bike. He ran up front. So he had the speed and was running it. And his bike didn't have a problem. So is it mechanical? Is it parts? Is it? There's so many questions we have for everybody out there. Mark Miller, you see what he guessed? Gatorade, Jack, and... Psych. He meant Coke. Yes. Mark, you are Wrong. not correct tonight. Mm. Yeah. Not correct. He's not right, is he? I forget mm. what. Tell me what you have in there. Okay. Now I remember. I almost forgot what he had in his drink. So guess what's in the cup game? It's going to go all night. Make sure you Turn in. follow along. We're talking about the pro circuit. Thomas Garden says sweet tea. I'll tell you what, Thomas, you may be sort of close on motos over here. Sort of close. But uh, Pro Circuit was not a great weekend for them. Um, although Adam Central did take a fourth overall and moved second into the points. So yeah. it's kind of high yeah, and low, well, you know. One's good, but the other one's uh, out. <laughs> Preston Tyson says Red Bull. It is not Red Bull. Definitely Brian does not have Red Bull. No. <laughs> Are you a Red Bull person? No, sir. Hey, Preston Sweet Tyson's one water. of your riders, yeah, isn't he? Is. Yeah, keep it, uh, keep it going, Preston. Keep pedaling, yeah, boy. Keep pedaling, that's right. Keep pedaling. Preston's going to be out man. at uh, McDonald's Sweet, Sweet Tea this weekend. Hey, okay. McDonald's Sweet Tea. <laughs> it is not Mickey D's Bloody Sweet best. Tea, buddy Bass. Okay. Man, I can't even drink that, man. That is so sweet. That is like, wow. <laughs> Good stuff Arnold, right there. Arnold Palmer. That's George Mazdea's drink. Paul Fleming. Actually, 90% mm. of the time, I am drinking Arnold Palmer. However, I am not tonight. Um, all right, so back to the 250s. 
It is not monster. It's not monster. Jacob Zinger says orange juice with a spark plug on the bottom. Oh, that's close. Jacob is a high school friend of mine, one of the most talented artists you guys ever ever seen. Like the kid has got more talent than I've ever seen. Um, pretty cool kid out there. But uh, Mitchell Harrison, thirteen a. Mitch. On a Yamaha. Ooh. Shane Moody McElrath. What did he? Finish up. Uh, 12 9. Sean Cantrell went 10 11. Austin Porter. What happened to Jimmy D down here? Jimmy D wrecked. Yeah. In the second moto. I see it. Ouch. Yeah. yeah. Right. Justin Hill, too. Justin that Hill. Motor. That motor. Yeah. 40th. So, wow. 40th. So early. And 12th. Well, early if he's 40th, you know what I mean? Ouch. Mm hmm. Hey, you know what's something really cool I see? What? Um, What'd you see, buddy? At Glen Helen, the tribute they did to Dickie Hayden. Mm -hmm. Did you guys see that? Shark in. <laughs> so they uh, a lot of the KTM, and I don't know if all the bike manufacturers did it, and they may have did. I know the KTM guys for sure. They put a '69 number plate on the front with Nikki Hayden's yes, yes. theme, um, as well as the tr the trophy girls on the podium had uh, '69 Nikki Hayden hats on. That was just super cool to see. Yeah, that guy was so fast on the motor. Dude, it, amazing. I remember when I saw him for the first time, I didn't even watch street bike race. I, the only thing I rode motorcycles at all back then and saw him on a bike and I was like, wow, that guy's incredible. He could ride a bike, man. Yeah. I just I just admire the motocross, you know, guys out there that put that together. Yeah, he used to ride motocross too. Oh, he was, yeah, he was an avid motocross rider. Yeah. So. Flat track, everything. Flat track, he was sick uh, on flat track. Tyler Payne just shared the video. Thank you, sir. We appreciate it. T-Payne. We're still looking for the guess what's in the cup. Hey, so what did you guys think of the 250 race out there? Um, and what did you think of the track of Glen Helen, the hills of Glen Helen? God, they snuck so up and they cool. bought some, they bit some people. A lot of mistakes out there. A lot of, uh, you know, the ruts got deep. The hills got bigger as, a week, as the day went on. Um, mistakes, it was sketch. I mean. Is, is that where the kid fell into them? That valley and that was if you guys haven't seen it, Instagram. Game you play. It looked like mad just, skills. It looked like a mad skill. Yeah, where you, the, oh my God, the triple triple. Bouncing. It's actually the finish line triple. And he over jumped it. He OJ'd it, and when he did, he almost landed into the face of like the next triple, and he just bounced Rag up. Doll. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I don't think I've seen anybody do that before. I don't know who not it was, level, huh? but if you're not dead, you're a badass, dude. Somebody posted on Instagram something like, uh, yeah, when, when your buddies tell you you can ride pro day or <laughs> something <laughs> like that. Yeah. Poor guy. That could have crash looked pretty nasty, too. Oh, it he did. crashed out. Where'd he crash? Sam's uh, uh, No, over, uh, what's that? A... Was he trying to whip something? it? No, no, nope. It was a, oh. like, um, coming up the hill like the bum um, bull rider looked like. Everybody, y'all check out Dean Wilson's Instagram. He hit a kicker or something, and you can see the flagger like this, and he is, he looks like he's Axel Hodges fixing the pancake one, but he's like, I had no intention. His bike is sideways off the face. I mean, sideways really? off the face. Jump going this way, his bike's completely sideways. He says, I don't know how I saved this one. Got Somebody lucky. got a picture of it. It wasn't on TV, though. Preston Tyson said the track looked awesome, definitely roughed and loved it. Yeah, I, I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thought maybe it got a little, um, and I don't know what, I'm, again, I'm not a track owner, but maybe a little too rough. Um, safety too came into to play, you know, when you see these people wadding so bad. They did go back out and fix it, but they could have fixed it a little sooner, I think. Um, didn't get a chance to watch Glenn Helen, but caught some awesome racing at Gatorback. Mark Miller, you did. Stay tuned, because we're going to talk about that Gatorback racing. Tyler Payne up there in Georgia, he says, what's up with the Kawasaki's? We touched a little bit on it. We we think that they put a new part in the motor, um, whether it was a vendor supplying them with a new part or a new part they're just Factory trying. Part, maybe. Yeah, it didn't work. I that's my um, re, whatever my assumption of what happened. It didn't work. And you know, like strategy may be to, to like leave ACs alone, leave one alone, test three. <laughs> I mean, it can't be. You know what I mean, like. All right, we got a good one over here. Let's let AC run that one. I mean, you could be. You know. Don't forget, last weekend, Austin Forkner had a bike malfunction as well. Uh, so he had a problem with his ECU, and he cut a big part of the track. Yes, he did. You remember? So he went all the way across the track, went to the pit area where they unplugged the ECU, and yep. they plugged it back in. And then it ran fun, right? Yeah. So, I mean, 
definitely pro circuit. It's going through a learning curve. Um, what do you think about Tomac riding around the tracks in the mechanics area versus Forkner's cutting the track? Paul, we were just talking about uh, Forkner's cutting the track, and I, I thought it was maybe it's the vet rider in, in, um, in Tomac, but then also, like, I don't get it because he could have very easily got off the side of the track and made it so much easier. And what Paul Fleming is, is re, re, talking about is when Tomac's front brake locked up, right? Right. Yeah. He still had about half a track to get back to the mechanic? Yeah, his tire was locked up. His tires were locked up. Yeah. So, instead of getting off the side of the track and riding the outside of the track, he literally tried to keep it on the track, going up and over the jumps, all the way back to the mechanics area, which no, I, I don't get. Like, you don't have to impossible. cut the track. I couldn't do it on a flat surface, much less on that track. Right. Like With your tire just completely locked up, and you're pushing all the way... I mean, it, it was insane. Bobby, Brady, Bobby, craziest two races so far. This series up, will Brady? be a good one. Brady Bunch in the house, man. It is getting good, Brady, for sure. Um, and, yes, it is. You know, what this weekend told me, Moto, and I don't know if it told you the same thing watching the race, is that anything can happen at any given time. You know, one DNF, luckily these guys got back in there, you know, to, to finish the race as the Pro Circuit guys, so they didn't get completely, you know, shit yeah. results. But... It seems like it's going to be a tough season. It is. It is. It's going to be a tough season. The 250 class is stacked. Maybe Dungey uh, knew what he was doing. The 450 yeah, class, I don't think, stacked. <laughs> he got squirrely and left. You know, he had, he yeah. had squirrely and left, man. He, he, he uh, just started counting stacks, you know what I mean? Mm hmm. He's smart. Look at lemonade. No I see. lemonade. It's not lemonade, but it tastes awful good. And I love lemonade. She listens to that uh, Beyonce album. They're guessing what's in the I'm cup. Just so, Zach Osborne's won already now. Jeremy Martin's won. Yeah. Dylan Fernandez has won a moto. God, he's so Fernandez good. Won a moto. Fernandez is so good. Um, we know Adam Cincerello can win. Yes. Right? He yeah. did. We think Austin Forkner, he won a moto last year. Yes. We think he can win. Shane McElrath can definitely win a moto. Joey Savacci can he win a moto. Can, yeah. Um, Plessinger. Aaron Plessinger can That's, win. He's like the sleeper to me. Alex Martin. So let's count this up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight guys without exaggerating, without even going, you know, without exaggerating. Eight guys could literally win any given moto any weekend, right? Yes. So the 250 class is pretty, uh, pretty amazing. It's anybody's. It's going to be willpower. It's going to be, you know, I think I called it last week in the show, the hills of Glen Helen, we're going to test the manufacturers. Obviously, we're oh, going to yeah, see how fast the bikes really were. And I can tell you that, I don't know if you guys seen it, this, the Husqvarna's seem to struggle. Obviously, we've seen the, the Kawasaki struggle with problems. But there was uh, two jumps that, in particular, the big double, the Huskies, the KTMs, and the Yamahas yeah. were just blowing it out. Now, Central was the only guy on the Kawasaki that we could watch. He seemed to do it pretty well. The Hondas seemed to have the power yeah. this weekend at the hills of Glen Helen to get them up and over, which is crazy. Yeah, definitely the two fifties. And the Cowies, I saw that in the other race and this race too. The Kawasaki's, the four fifties. Oh, they've got the power. Most game was trying so hard, I think, to get around. Uh, Grant, you know, not this oh, week, yeah. but last week, and Grant we could just play with them and gag that gas on the inside, not even do the turn hard. Muskeen was just hanging it out on the outside. He could just baby cake that thing on the inside, still pull right away from him hitting those jumps. So the really? Cowies got it dialed on power. They got power. They on also the 450s. they also got um, traction for days. Oh man! Hey, you guys see Andrew right there, Pikachu? Uh, jumping in there, he's from he FMG for the motocross group, and That's just give. Uh, on <laughs> yeah, nope. But he uh, the and Andrew, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the next FMG ride day is gonna be down there at Miami MX yeah. on June 18th. That's a good time, man. Yeah, this good time, a great time. I love the FMG. Having a good time. They're, they do my style of riding. I haven't been riding in a while. I was going to say, what style that, is that? Yeah. What style is that? that? It, but 
man, they just go have a good time. They just sit there and, and ride all day long and just have fun, mm-hmm. hang out in the pits. They camp all weekend long. I ain't seen you ride all day long in years. It's been a year almost. No, before even when you were riding, you would ride like one lap and crash. Yeah, well, you know, we're trying. If you're not crashing, you're not trying. But... Live Ruthless would literally be ruthless. Yes. He would start the bike and he thought that meant go wide open from the time he got That'd on the track. Fun. Yes, <laughs> WFO, David Lando out there. Keep it thin. See ya, and he'd come back, water, and he'd go back out there and tear it up. But, uh, yeah, so June 18th, I think it's going to be um, 10 a.m. to 4 a.m. They're going to have the Stellar MX Whip Contest. Woo. Uh, and then our friend Poi Dog over there, NDA Action Sports, is going to be the photographer of the day. So, really cool. They, good group of guys. Make sure you guys jump on the Florida Motocross group and check it out. Um, but a and W root beer, that would be nice with a little ice cream in there. We're not having Man. any root beer floats tonight. That's your style. Yeah, like yeah. Right. You like a and W root Bobby beer floats? Bobby Williams, man, you called him out. Bobby. Oh. Bobby Williams knows this stuff, boy. On root beer special. All right, so let's talk about the four fifty. Yes, we, we already talked about Eli Tomax bike breaking. Oh. Ouch. Um, we talked about, a little bit about uh, Josh Grant with a great ride. Ooh, ripper. You know, didn't finish the way he wants, but man, I can only imagine what we're going to see when we go into round three at Thunder Valley this week and coming up. Um, some more hills. Altitude. Some more hills. Altitude. Mm-hmm. Altitude, if you guys remember, I believe last year Jason Anderson actually got altitude sickness. Oh, I probably would. Flying and he. The plane and then ended up there and all. I probably would. Man, I'd have to be there for a week just to adjust. Yeah. Seriously. Well, he, he, all that mess with me. So he, I think, I guess Jason Anderson got diagnosed with altitude something with that. So he has a disease or something. And he literally flies in like a few hours yeah, or yeah, the yeah, night yeah, before absolutely. the race, yeah. races, and then leaves immediately after the motos because if not, it's like he'll get sick. It's like seasickness. Exactly. It's horrible. I've had it before. It's horrible. It's not cool. <laughs> There's nothing you can do. All right. So in our 450 class, Marvin Muskin going 1-3 on the day for the, for the overall. Jason Anderson, 5-1 for second place. How about Anderson. Blake Baggett? Ripper. Yeah, Baggett, man. He is the, uh, what? man, he is so just strong. What did he finish? 4-2? and two? Well, 8-2 eight eight for a fourth two. overall. Fourth. Yeah, he's, man, he's tough. All three of those guys, though, right there in a the row. Dude, this guy, Dean Wilson. Yeah, Dean is. 6-7 for a fourth overall. Yeah, Dean, or fifth. Fifth, fifth overall. Yeah, but Dina, that's still. Dean has been ripping. No, for a fourth. And see, I, ex- I expected, you know, Barsha to be a Yeah, higher. Dean got fourth overall. Fifth is Maybe Bogle Weston. to be a little bit higher than that. You know, I expected. Tickle, Tickle's a sleeper, too. Dude, Tickle, obviously, first bad first moto with a 14th, but in the second moto, going four. I mean, that's insane. He ride, man. Cole Seeley going seven, eight. He gets for a, a shout six. Out from my mom, too. Yeah. Tickle, yeah. That's her rider? She met Tickle at Daytona. Oh. She told me about 15 times that she met a guy named Tickle at Daytona and got his autograph. Mama Ruthless right yeah, there. Yeah, that's her ride. <laughs> I'm pretty sure she likes Brock Tickle. What about the Willie down the start straight, Paul Fleming said. Did you guys see Blake Baggett? No. It was sick. No. Got the whole shot. I'm not sure if he officially got the whole shot, but he was literally out front. And everybody else is like, you know, right? Baggett is literally like almost at a 12 o'clock, just ripping it out. Preston, psh, yeah. we never heard of those guys. We might have to set some of these guys up. Just for... yeah, a couple of them. Huh? Might have to get Preston on the... Uh, on results, the results, buddy. Wait, you, Preston, you can't have a pit shirt. You have to be a rider. You got a rider shirt. Results, tell them. You get results, buddy. We'll get Ooh. you what you need, Ooh. buddy. Ooh, throwing it out get there? Get on that podium. You start talking that ruthless, buddy, we'll get you a t-shirt. Hey, although Preston did get a couple whole shots at Waldo, so. All right. All right. Well. Well. Like, I got the shirt. <laughs> I got the shirt. <laughs> I'll move no, up. I'll move. Preston's been ripping, Wouldn't say anything about Preston. <laughs> hey, he's probably, I think he just picked up his pace on that pedal now. He's like. Oh, 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 oh. He's getting him something right now. Yeah, he is. Yeah, look, look, woo! Yeah, don't be jumping the gate, big dog. All right, how about Christian Craig? In the 450 how class, about him? you know, uh, Honda pulled him up, factory Honda pulled him up, put him on a 450. He put in great results, uh, decent results, decent riding at round one, Hangtown. Round two, 
he, uh, I don't remember, what, did he get third place in the first moto? Second. He got fourth, pla uh, fourth place in the first moto. See? Fourth place in the first moto? Yeah. He got 12th overall, but ended up crashing out in the uh, second moto, which, unfortunately, when he landed, I guess, if you guys seen it, he hit a, like, a single. And I guess he punched the ground, which gave him a boxer fracture in his hand. Oh. So he had surgery Monday. Um, pretty easy fix. Screws, plates. He's out for about two or three weeks. But Honda has this epic rider. You guys may have heard of him before. Number 94, Ken Roxon. You ever heard of that guy? It's been a while. I saw, I saw a guy with that number on Instagram. He was riding a Grom the other day. Yeah, and if you, I think if you follow his Instagram, I think his... Rabbit is sick or something, oh, and he's wow, yeah. the rocks and rabbit now. is is going crazy. <laughs> I think viral. the rocks and rabbit has went viral, literally. Viral. But so they they get this rider that they're going to win the championship with, and Ken rocks and Rex. Um, oh, this guy, this that guy. guy. Ken Rockson. Shatters his hand, <laughs> arm, elbow, shoulder, everything. Well, just basically his whole arm. His whole arm. Throttle arm. It is not. It's his left arm. Yeah, it's his left arm, but He's they pull up the Christian Craig. Probably didn't have much expectations for him. They put him on Ken Roxon's bike, yeah. and he starts doing really good. Yeah. But he can't touch the ground. No, but he did fall on the ground, and he got hurt. Yeah, but he hurt this arm, and then sometimes he um this is two years. Two year, well, one year ago he hurt his arm, almost a year ago. But, but now you got Christian Craig up there with a broken hand. Is this not heartbreaking for damn Honda? Yeah, Honda, I gotta get somebody reliable. Give Bubba a call. Man, Bubba's the son. Well, I was gonna say. <laughs> so there's been rumors. There's been little highlights on James Stewart's with his six seven Honda. We know he's got suspension. We know he's got some parts working. Um, we're not sure what he's working for, but he is supposed to be testing very soon with suspension guys. Um, we're guessing Monster Cup. Everybody is what everybody's assuming. But I mean, would he ride for free? Would he? What? No paycheck. He would have to have a paycheck, right? Yeah. Yes. But if he goes and rides on his own team, he's not getting a paycheck. Mm -mm. Well, wait, but from a sponsor thing. Well, he's still going to have his one. personal sponsors, so. What would hurt besides him not getting the results? He probably doesn't want to ride outdoors, but putting him on the bike and, and sending him out there. Uh, he might Geico be the step up, call. pay him a couple mils, say, hey, go. He might be the one to call and to tell him, hey, we're just looking for top 10. Please. What about Malcolm? Finish out. Say, somebody. Somebody's got to get on their bike. What about Kevin Windham? Can we oh, bring Kato back? Gosh, dog, he ain't ready. That's all. I mean, Dude, he, Kevin yeah. Windham without training goes out and gets top 10. <sighs> he probably would. Calling it right now. So when you look at the top ten here, though, let me legitimately, and you guys let us know on Facebook Live there, who do you think, if Kevin Windham came off the couch right now? I mean, there's some a lot of great riders in here, but we got Marvin Muskin, Jason Anderson, Blake Baggett. Is Marvin leading the points? How far? Is Marvin is leading the points right now, 89 points to Eli Tomac, 74. Wow. So. I mean, Tomac comes in if he, you know, goes 1-1. One, one. Colorado this weekend, hometown race. Colorado boy. Mm -hmm. He's ready for that 10 a.m., huh? Oh. His bike's already tuned for it. He is. 1-1. One, one. You like Eli Tomac? Yeah? Is he ran good? Is he fast, this guy? Is he your favorite guy? Why? Because he gets in front. He gets in front? And what's he do when he's in front? Um, he wins. He wins. That's what happens when you ride a Kawasaki, isn't it? He's so cool. Unless this weekend, then you were not winning. Wins the Moto Stop Show T-shirt giveaway. Um, it's a great idea, Andrew. We yeah. I we thought about it. Guess what's in the cup, Andrew? It, guess what's in the cup? <laughs> I didn't want to rip off. We're already kind of not really ripping off, but we stole the idea of the Facebook Live from uh, Poy Dog. So I Poy Dog was really cool with his T-shirt giveaway, and I didn't want to you know Don't continuously all your cool ideas, rip man. Poy Dog off. Uh, time and time again, so we, uh, we're kind of doing what's guessing the cup, which is kind of fun, um, you know, 
maybe a little harder. But maybe next week we will build really a easy care package. Up. It's easy. What's it up. is. <laughs> I think it's too hard. You know, you put the lime in the coconut and drink it, it all up. up. There's your little hint. <laughs> so, uh, Kevin. Did you see that? What did he say? He said that he watched K-Dub at the farm at uh, K-Dub's race out there in Mississippi. Yeah. Mississippi. Yeah. Mississippi. What did he say about him? He said he can rip. He Not can rip. That. Point dog, we, we are a team now, but I still uh, don't want to rip you off. I like exactly what you're doing over there, so I, you know, that's how I, I kind of look. And we got some ideas like you do in the works, and we, we'll give a bunch of stuff away um, in due time. Maybe we'll just give Moto away. Moto, you want to go? No! What if I just no. give you away? No! No way! No? What did you guys, 450 class, what did you think? What did you see? What did you guys want to talk about? BBT, anything? Um, I know. Go ahead, tell me. Um, pretty much what we talked about. The uh, brakes was uh, yeah. kind of devastating for... The brake for, uh, bummer. Yeah, the brake bummer. Pretty yeah. devastating for... Um, oh, I think it's there. Tomac. Are you looking at the back? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think it's still early. Obviously, we're, um... Who is it? Oh, we got Um... What do you got, buddy? Is this, got this is the call Dundee. for this week? Dundee's gone, buddy. He's sitting at the house. Poi Dog wants a shirt. Um, we'll we'll we take got, care of you, Poi. Um... We got Tomac, um... He's calling it. He's second. He got, He'll get second. Tomac's gonna win this week. Who's, we got who's him. second? He got, we got him. No, he's not gonna ride. We got him. He might be signing like autographs. Here. Oh, um, no, he... What is it? 94 it is. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it is. We got this Alex kid. Ray. He's got... This, us. Hold on. He, he's got oh, Alex, gee. Alex Ray. Who matches us? Wow. Tomac. Um. He's got numbers on his paper. You guys can't see it, but uh. This kid's correct. I Man, he knows this. Tomac is on the helicopter. Tomac is on the helicopter. Tomac's in the helicopter and right now. Alex Ray is on the helicopter. He is heading to Colorado. Dungey's on the nap. Um. Yeah, Dungey's on the nap. He's taking a nap. Hey. He got retired. All right. So while you're reading that, I gotta ask BBT. So I gave, you, I gave you a quest. We have a Grind MX Rider of the Week. Who is it, buddy? So who is going to be the GrindMX.com oh, Rider of the nasty. Week? I don't know who this is. Coconut water. But uh, it is not coconut water, Christelle Allen. What? I don't know. Why would you put co lime in the coconut? We got Oh, you put lime in the coconut. You said coconut. Yeah, I said coconut, but it right, we got two dungeons. Right? the amateur or from yeah. anybody, yeah. Anybody, yeah. anybody, anybody you see. Right. I, I'm thinking of a little kid at Gatorback. All right. But who are you thinking of? I'm going to kind of give a shout out to my, uh, my boy Daxon Bennett That's for exactly winning nine motos in a row at Gatorback. Boom! Nine motos? Boom! Dude, he yeah. was ripping All a 65 so Nebo, hard. All the way from North Carolina. Who is it? Daxton Bennett. Daxton Bennett. Mm -hmm. Number 241. 241. Oh, 65 man. and 85. I posted a video on them today. So, oh, Daxton yeah. Bennett, we'll have to tag you in this, but you just got picked for the Grind MX Rider of the Week. And what we do, we try to figure out somebody every week that inspires us, impresses us, and does something that catches our eyes, whether you're a pro motocross local guy, um, just, you know, at the local track, you know. Brian Tipton was out at Gatorback this weekend. At the youth regional qualifier, and he picked Daxton Bennett. Daxton Bennett, Pretty number two forty one. All of them too. Mm -hmm. Everyone the I watched them, he whole shot. Nine? What did you say? Nine motos? Nine, nine motos nine in a row. Motos. How many tickets did he get? Three. Uh, actually, well, three. He's doing three classes. Three. So you can uh, only do two. Well, I think I'm not sure which classes what? he's going. I know sixty five. He there. just did all the tickets. Yeah. yeah. Speed and take, right? Every time he I probably hit, got tickets on the way home. He whole shot and won every race I watched him, and I watched him in probably four or five. Unreal, them. like John Warnberg just said, that kid is unreal. You know how to do my whole shot thing? I seen you. Did I you would pick go, him? I would go straight to him. I was like, okay, there's the next one. That's standing next, and he's gonna whole shot. Um, but that's kind of like if he if he's that good, that's kind of cheating. So oh, now I know so your theory good. with those whole oh. shot things. Carl comes so over. Carl comes over to us this week. He's like, "Bro, look how good I am." Watch this. I go down the whole line. 
And then I pick a guy to get the whole I did shot. I 25 too, Munoz. Who he, thought Munoz would have got it? Some South American kid. <laughs> you had your boy, um, Joe Swall. And then we had, um, Holinger or whatever that kid is. I mean, you had like 10 kids. You there thought we were going to get it over that kid. There was a lot. And here I picked the South American kid. That's the one I was talking he, about. That was the pick. Really, first, it was, race, uh, first race of the weekend. What was Artie it? Munoz. Yes, that was a first All right, race. I'll give it to you. Schoolboy one, baby. I'm not sure if you got lucky. But no, I, I knew that kid was going to do it. He's so much hard, dude. Hey, we do got to give a shout out to Julie mm -hmm. Swall and Brandon Loser. They, uh, no, man, they dominated does. this weekend as well, taking oh, two man. tickets uh, to L Loretta Lynn's. Yeah, Brandon's such a good mechanic, dude. Did he get two? Yeah, he raced four. He raced two classes. Yes. Yeah, yeah, he can race two classes. Yeah, Brandon Losers got him dialed in, tuned up over there on that Rockstar Husqvarna team um, under the Tim Ferry, the Red Dog Academy out there. Out, really. Oh, dude, yeah, he was everybody. everybody out. From little guys all the way up to Marty Davalos, you know, like you go train with Ferry and it's uh, Logan started next to him, Carl's video, Logan asked. I mean, how Dax race. got such a big jump off the gate. <laughs> so in your video, he's, Logan, he's I guess, was right next to him. He's pretty much a 65 pro, you know. <laughs> Definitely. Huh? To the right. To the right oh, of him? Oh, yeah, right of him in that video. Yeah, he's... Man, he how about my little boy, Logan Mortenberg, out there yeah. getting the ticket? Yeah, the ticket yeah. That he kid... fight for it. He, he did. Fight. And they, they, they're, they're, every, every gate was taken. He did. You know, who, do you know Logan? I think they... Uh, that was the yeah. Coxies, yeah. wasn't it? I'm pretty sure that the Conti race was the only one was a 65 that I remember. Could be. Could and be. I didn't get to watch so all the races. It was a 65, so I had to count them out. But the cool thing about Logan is literally we, me and John and our family has been friends. So we, when we were racing back, you know, before Moto was born, so probably my, 2011. My picture pulled up today on mine. It's either three or four years old, and Logan's in the background, and he is. He's, yeah. We used to call it daycare racing because we'd get to the, the racetrack, literally, and we'd set up a cage, and there would be like 20 kids in there just <laughs> going crazy, and the moms would be hanging out, and the dads would be racing or drinking or doing something, what dads do. But, uh, and to watch Logan progress and grow up, and, and now on he's his way to the ranch, he's a bad dude coming up. So we got our, we had our Grind MX rider out there. Um, dude, the Gator Mac Regionals, we were all there this weekend. What a great time. Yeah, so for the um, youth regionals, so it was all, you know, youth regionals. Under, I think. Yeah. So that was cool. You didn't see any vet riders or anything, but you seen the cream of the crop, the newest guys, and there was the some future of tomorrow classes. They were stacked. Julie Swall, I'd say the fastest rider on the track all day. Um, well, until RJ Hampshire came out, which we'll talk oh, about yeah, that. Yeah. But uh, maybe, great you know what, maybe Swall would have gave him a run for his money. I mean, I tell him. it was fire. How about Hannah Hodges, bro? Yeah, she's so fast. Dude, that girl was throwing down was the girls' class. more classes. She girl. was racing... Did she race B or anything? A uh, 13 to 16 class. 13 to 16 class. She does race B, which is at um, Mill Creek this weekend. Right? Okay. Next weekend. Next weekend? Yeah, Some weekend weeks, coming up that's not this weekend. A couple weeks away. Okay, yeah. so I'll get to see her do the B class then. She'll do the B class there, oh, which I'm wow. sure she'll get a ticket in the B class. I mean, yep. <clears throat> she is on fire. I, I, like, watched her moto, and I just was thinking to myself, I'm so glad that I'm not trying to go to the qualifier because that girl would smoke me. I don't know if I could get... I remember know. being at Gatorback, you know, maybe about five years ago, and I, I was sitting there on stage, and they had this 125 in front of me, and this 250 pulls off, leans it on a tree, jumps on the 125 in front of me and right on the butt said Patterson and I didn't know who Patterson was but it was Jessica Patterson <laughs> and she took off and I'm pretty sure that every one of the vet riders <laughs> had Gator back on the 125 and I was like wow girls can really ride you know that was not like my slap in the face I had seen Ashley Folick oh yeah I had never rode with Ashley Folick you know so it was a slap in the face and girls, some of these girls can put it down like Callie uh, Fazanat she, oh, she, she's, she's ripping ooh, too. Ooh, that's the fastest girl I've seen lately. Mm -hmm. Who did you see at the regional this weekend? Um, we saw Wild and a Thin. Tomac. No, I, I get her back this no, weekend. Oh, your little buddy. Who was your little buddy that we was watching race this weekend? Oh, um, Beckett? Yeah. yeah. He was on the blue and green bike. Yep. He took off that Beckett and then. Yeah. 
on his second way um, practice, he whacks the he whacked on the second mile, and oh, then man. we saw um. How about his older brother Evan Ferry? Yeah, Evan. Evan Ferry. did good. He did good. Yeah. Then um, we saw. Anybody else? We saw Carlo. Yeah, but that wasn't racing. We saw Carl at Gatorback. Who, who was racing, though? Um, huh? Who was the Chase? racers we were watching? Who? Ryder. Oh, Chase Matat and Ryder yeah, Gwynn. Yeah, buddy, they did real good. I seen Ryder get a ticket. Yeah, what about Zane? Mm -hmm. Zane got hurt. Yeah. yeah. You remember? His arm. Yeah. Hopefully he feels better soon. He'll be back up and running. Yeah, and another kid, he was racing. And then when he took it out, they like, bye. 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 See ya. Hallway right open when he see that great drop, just throttle it. Throttle it. Do it, buddy. Like, through the day, past the day, Boom. like, all right there, like, <laughs> past everybody. All right, wow. so we had a great time, like we said, at Thunder or uh, at Gatorback Regionals. Thunder Valley coming up this weekend, boys. Um, we kind of touched on it, but just want to run you down what happened a little bit last year. Joey Savacci was the fastest rider, I believe, on the track last year. Um, probably would have won the, or he did win the overall. He went 2-1, and actually he crashed yeah, and had a mistake in the first moto. Savacci, I mean, you know, we kind of expect that. Not having the year he wants, well, especially with the bike malfunctions, but do you think he's got what it takes to, to come back to Thunder Valley? And, yes, yeah. Savacci's tough, man. I bet you those bike problems will be gone. For a long time. He's from around here. Yeah. I've been watching him for a long time, and I can remember them showing up in a pickup truck, him and his dad, and they always took the money. I don't, I don't care who was on the line, any race I saw, no matter where it was, when that Savachi little bike came out of that truck, they took the money home in the, in the A classes. Well, he's going to have some tough work. I mean, J. Yep. Mart last year went 1-3. Yep. Um, Alex Martin went 8-2 for a third overall. God, he got so much talent. Zach Martin went 4-6. And those four are still in the class. Now, Cooper Webb actually was your fifth overall runner last year at Thunder Mountain in the 250 class, pulling 3.8. We know Cooper Webb moved up into the 450 class, which has been a very tough struggle for him in the outdoors. Hopefully, we see something a little better for him at Thunder Valley. Fortner could do good. Fortner. Josh Hill could do good. Adam, Josh. I mean, there's so yeah. many coming up. Give me your picks. On 250? 250. We're going to talk about 450 in one Ooh. second. The winner. Go ahead, BBT. Os top three. Osborne. Uh, probably my top three between uh, Osborne and Martin. I'm going to say. Well, you didn't pick. I need your top Osborne, three. Osborne, Savachi, three. Martin. Osborne, of, Savachi, because Martin. Because of Martin's luck only. I think Martin's going to be probably the fastest guy there, but he's going to have some of that J. Martin luck going on. I think Osborne and um, Martin and probably AC. Ooh. All right. So I'm going to say, me and Moto, we're going to say Austin Forkner yeah, buddy, for the like overall, that. probably with like a 3-2 finish. Um, yeah. So we'll say Jeremy Martin, second, Tomac? with no, Tomac in the fourth. With the 1-12. Yeah, something. And then uh, <clears throat> Zach Owen, third place. Wow, Zach having bad days. Adam Cincerilla. Because he used place. to be the bad luck guy. Zacho. See, so see, CJ's starting to sense it. Like, this kid's always had the worst luck ever. There's Something. no way this kid's going to have good luck for long. Well, and we've seen the little mistakes he made at Glen Helen, so which yes. kept him, you know, from I'm getting to remember that win. He got head shake real bad. Somebody got head shake horribly. Oh, it was Muscane. When Muscane was trying to... Uh, he was trying to pass somebody. Boy, I thought Miss Game was going to drag, and he Rick. held it on. I mean, he's got some heart. I thought he'd slow down and leave it alone, but he kept going. All right, Fleming says Osborne, Martin, H.C. Oh, J. Martin, A.C. Osborne from, from Mortburg. From Mortburg right there. We got... Colt Nichols. Colt he Nichols is a sleeper. sleeper. He is, buddy. He did real good last week. Yeah. Brady, what do you see... Uh, the 731, Aiden Shive, of course, got two tickets. Yeah, Didn't we already buddy. say that earlier? The Shive team was on the gas and kicking. 
dirt all weekend. He can't leave, said he was racing Patterson back in the day. Yes, he was. Hey, Hill your track ripper, like 95, yeah. 96. Hey, Always been a rip. Beckett is a great podium interview, I guarantee it. So, John Morton, this weekend's Ironman, Connor Fortune will be out there. What? Stunt bike days. Oh, yeah, John, you're taking me way back. Speaking of stunt bike days, we had dinner last night with an OG, um, a longtime friend. Uh, some of you guys might know him, Rick Payne, Rick Nasty. You can check it out, ricknasty.com. He was one of the originators in the sport. We uh, rode together forever back in the day, and... Uh, he did all he could do to try to convince me to get back up and do some shows <laughs> last night. Win Curran, let's drag race. Right there, Win. We were just talking about your regional, man. We had a good time. We had the Live Ruthless drag race, what he was talking about out there. And uh, if you guys didn't see it, it was epic. It's run what you brung, everything out there. Me and Little Moto here, we got on the 150R, actually Mama's pit bike, and we held her wide open, wicked it, almost won the thing, didn't we? Yeah, but you have to pass the flags. You gotta pass the flags. So what we would do is, uh, I would actually just grab on. You can check out the photos at BigDealProduction.com, um, where I just grab onto the handlebar and moto. What would you do? I would do the throttle. And hold it wide open and send it. So it was drag race. We got the drag race, all kind of bikes, and it was a great time at the Live Ruthless Drag Race. You can find those drag races this weekend, Carl, at uh, Bosswick Creek for round. Five? I think. Wow, round five of the Florida Georgia Florida Motocross Championship right here in beautiful uh, Green Coast Springs, Florida, Bosswood Creek and X Park. Eric Parham, I'm personally pumped to be racing Timmy Ferry, Matthew, Andrew Pini, Earl May, wow. and the 40 plus class at Mill Creek. Not it's too pumped, I probably won't qualify in the 40 plus. Eric, I didn't even know where that comment was going, but as soon as I read it, I knew what you were thinking. Damn the bad luck. That's how the yeah. kids were at Gator Pack this weekend, man. The classes are stacked this year. It's going to be such good racing everywhere oh. you go, man. Dude, it is insane. It's thick. It's thick. Everybody has came out to race. I mean, if those guys are on the line, yeah, it's going to be pretty tough to get to the Red Lens. I always say, man, I can't wait till like I hit the 30s because then it's going to get tougher. easier. No, but guess what? Tougher. The same people that are racing that are beating me today tougher. are still beating me in the yeah. plus 30 class. Now I'm waiting to get to the plus 35 class because... Hopefully, I don't know, maybe they're... Maybe they'll quit. Or yeah. Something. You know, the man That's that crazy. rides the longest wins? That's right. Maybe, I don't Barry know. Barry McCarty's <laughs> killing it right now. For Barry McCarty, what, young else. age of 52 years old? Yeah, killing it. Uh, Brady, there was no A class. It um, was a youth. Youth yeah. regional. So it was Jalik, I would say. Jalik Swole, I believe, had the fastest lap times of the whole weekend out there. On uh, 25. But 25. in fairness, he would have probably been... And your top five A rider classes. I mean, he he normally runs those paces, so the kid is on fire right now. So, yeah, He's on fire. On fire, Julie Swole. You know who that is. He does best in the corner. Yep. So what we were alluding to a little earlier is real cool. After the regional wrapped up, uh, I think Brian, you were already gone, but you got to see. R.J. Hampshire come down out there. Oh, yeah, man. Gator back opened up for him and let him spin some laps out there by himself. Dude, here's what the coolest thing was. Because you get to watch the races. You get to watch how the track breaks down and develop and get rough. And you see the kids struggle. Even Julie Cole, the fastest rider. You see him parts of the track. I went up on the hill and I watched R.J. moto skip down. Skip over stuff. To skip over it everything. It looked like he was on a freeway, thing. Carl. Yeah, it was crazy. He was running. Even, and, the, even the pictures... The track was rough, right? You know. Yeah. The pictures look smooth because how he's riding on. <laughs> he. It's crazy. He wasn't like muddling down like he's trying to win a race. Smooth. He was just putting like laps in, and he was running a 140. I think Jalik's time, and I'd have to ask Brandon, but it was like 148. Oh, yeah, it was Is that insane? Eight seconds faster. Yeah, it looked good, man. 140 out there. Woo! So it was really wait cool till, to see. Wait till the MXB G GP comes there. Wow. September. We're really going to see some stuff. Everybody's got to come out and support that, man. Yep. That, Labor that's going to be the race. They're going to have amateur up for, uh, amateur biggest, day. The baddest race ever that I've ever been around. It's going to be sick. I mean, GPs just bring their own kind of vibe with them. And but it, Friday, you can race. Yep. They're going to race Saturday, and then Saturday night, you can race Supercross. Amateurs can race Supercross. So it's going to be like a definitely. It's going to be like the Moto Fest. They're holding, you know, the same people that organized the Atlanta Moto Fest are yeah. organizing that. So they're basically going to turn that into an outdoor Moto Fest kind of. The Florida Moto Fest. I'm going to go ahead and call it that. Okay. Moto riding all the time. 
Moto riding all the time. Yes. I like it. Racing. I like it. It's going to be good. I know we're all... And a practice day after it, I think. Sunday is the open practice. Is yeah, it? it? Yes. It's like open a Moto practice. Fest. It's well, I think, isn't it racing Monday. Saturday and Sunday on the Moto GP? Normally? Uh, and then maybe Monday's the practice day. Yeah, I think it's two-day format on so the Moto GP. So they practice day Monday then. Yeah. So after it is a practice day. We'll get the details for sure, and we'll let you guys know. Oh, it's gonna Andrew be cool. tells us right there Monday. That's Monday, what I was thinking, Andrew. I bring, I bring these damn rookies into the studio. Give them I'm just pumped what happened in this thing. You know what I mean? Hey, I'm going to be there. Right here. I'll be there. Right here. Not not Bud's Creek. I don't know if I'm even going to race. Well, we're going to I might watch. just run around naked and be like, yeah! yeah chainsaws. You want to do it? Yeah. Tidy whities just run around and be like, woo! Come on, man. Yeah! With chainsaws with no blades. No? Let's do it. All right, wind current right there. Monday, open ride day. There Monday. you go. Yeah, see? So then we can return there Monday, ride open. So camp all weekend, come in. Yes. The gate's probably open, I'd imagine, Racing Thursday, like maybe Wednesday. Seen. Bring your camper in, set up, grill out, have a good time, get ready for amateur day on Friday. Yeah, I was getting all the 125 kids pumped up for the Saturday night yeah. Supercross. They want to ride Supercross so bad, those kids love that Supercross track. It's fun. It's awesome. It looks like they changed it. I, just, I didn't get on it, but I walked I around it. it. It looked like there was quite a bit of changes since they opened up the back track, the Diamondback. Yeah. Uh, it looked pretty sick. I can't wait. Um, I'd say I'm not going to ride, but of course I'll be there racing. <laughs> so uh, it's going to be a good Sign time. Moto? Moto's going to race. You racing? Moto's going to race Supercross at night. No, I didn't Come on, Supercross. No, you want to race. Supercross at night. Yeah, we're going to race to get it back. Okay, Supercross at night, Moto. All right, folks. It's about 9.05. We had a great show. Um, running late. It is running late. Brian Tipton over at BBTMX, got to thank you for coming in, my friend. And if somebody wants to get a hold of you, you do full bike rebuilds, bike maintenance, anything you need, whether it's race ready, oil changes, tire changes, BBTMX is the place to be. Yep, anything and everything. All right. How can they get a hold of you? Uh, best way right now is probably um, Instagram. Instagram right now. Uh, Facebook's being kind of a pain right now, actually kind of um, taking the uh, BBTMX um, Facebook offline right now. So Shut it down, huh? I gotta fix that, and um, yeah, best way is Instagram right now. Find me on there, the uh, real BBTMX. So, uh, and um, you can see me on there, but probably be starting a new Facebook here shortly, so you can just catch me on there. We'll definitely Woo! share it out, look out for it. Carl Rutledge, as always, yes, it's sir. a pleasure, Thank you my so friend. Much for having me, high five, Moto. They can find you, you at liveruthless.com. Yes, each and every day, buddy. Opened up in the pits of races all across yes, Florida. Yes. Make sure you guys check out supportliveruthless.com. Yes. They can find normally Mom and Papa Ruthless right. over there. Some of my favorite Let's go people ahead and tell in the them pit. What it is. So, <laughs> the contest is Moto's ending. First. Moto, what do you have in your cup? Oh, Hold it up. Mine. What's in there? Tell them. Tea. You have citrus tea in there. Citrus tea. So, and the two big boy cups, uh, we had a little bit of cervezas, right? Cerveza? Cerveza. Cerveza tonight. Corona. You put the lime in the Corona and you drink it all up. Yes. John says he got him a new Ruthless Straw hat and... Uh, umbrella for your head. Umbrella for your head. He loved it. <laughs> she was using hers to cut grass yesterday. They're awesome. Poi Dog, can't wait to join the show someday. Absolutely, we're going to get it together. You guys don't right forget, here. NDA seat, Action buddy. Sports coming at you tomorrow night, Wednesday. Weekend, Woo! Wednesday, race Fires. report. 8 o'clock. And Zane. And Zane in the membrane. Yeah, exactly. How's Zane doing, Jeff? Seven. How's that elbow? Eight. So, uh, we talked, gave Jeff, or Zane a shout out earlier. Andrew, we need to get you guys up here as well, the FMG. We need to bring everybody. Maybe we'll just have a big convention down in Orlando. We'll have a big talk show convention and we'll just, you know, we, all of us Moto people would probably be geeked out about it and enjoy it, but the people that watch the show would probably be like, this is stupid. Yes. Just We're going to put something together. Yeah, man. all these idiots talking about dirt bikes for hours upon hours, so. All right, Moto, He's we're texting. almost done with the show, bro. Did you have fun? He's texting his girlfriend. No. Thank you. Hey, thank you for coming in here. Stop. Look at, did you have fun? I appreciate it. You're out of school, so maybe you'll have some more shows with me. Maybe go to work with me. He's good at it. At Jacksonville. In Jacksonville. Big Deal Production Studio. All right, folks. You guys, make sure you check it out. You can always find all of our archives on Stitcher, iTunes, TuneIn. My name's CJ Harris, Carl Rutledge, Brian Tipton, Moto Harris. It's been a fun show. 
We do need to have a Loretta Lynn show with qualified FL riders. We definitely can put yes, that sir. in place, uh, John. So, um, hope you're hanging in there, Preston. Keep on biking. Yeah. Orlando MX party for the Gold Cup. Good idea. Good idea. That's it. Our producer up there in uh, New York tuned in. He said, awesome show. Thank you, Tom. Yeah, we we made it right. without we you. We winged it, man. But, uh, yeah, it's 9 o'clock. We're going to wrap this thing up. Thank you guys always for tuning in. It's been fun. It's been real. My name is CJ Harris, the host that brings you the most. Peace out. Woo!